as panel design get more and more complex and robust. There comes some sort of protection. In this episode, we will be looking at how panels can be monitored and protected using current transformers, also known as CT, and voltage transformers. Stay tuned. What exactly are current transformer? A current transformer is a type of transformer that is used to reduce or multiply an alternating current. It produces current in its secondary. The current produced in the secondary coil is proportional to the current in the primary circuit. Before we go a little bit deeper, let's look at the traditional way of how currents are measured. Ammeter is a measuring instrument used to measure the current in a circuit. The ammeter is usually connected in series with the circuit measured. This means, one leg of the meter is connected to the main, and the other side connected to the load. As the switch is powered on, current will flow from the main to the load. And as such, the flowing currents will be measured by the ammeter. However, Ammeter comes with some drawback. The instrument will only measure when the other terminal is connected to the load. The inrush current should not be higher than the rating of the coil or the rating of the ammeter. Because when the ammeter fails during high current rush, the resistance of the coil increases. This will make the coil to also heat up. The generated heat will result in the melting of the ammeter coil. In current transformer, alternating current usually flows through the primary conductor. This conductor produces a varying magnetic flux. The varying magnetic flux produced are induced in the secondary coil. The induced flux will produce a fewer alternating current in the secondary coil. This is due to the less number of turns in the secondary coils. Unlike ammeter, this instrument still measures the current in the circuit when loads are not connected to the circuit. There are fewer risks associated with this method, because the output of the secondary side of the current transformer are usually a bit lesser than the primary coil. On a final note, is of great importance to always check the rating of the current transformer and the measuring device before termination. To be on a safer side, the rating of the connected measuring devices to CT must be higher than the CT. That way, the current coming from the current transformer will not be higher than the measuring device at any point in time. Although this technology are usually found in power station, these days, vendors are also leveraging on this device for power measuring at its input during panel design. However, if you still need some clarification, kindly log on to Google and search. Differences between ammeter and current transformer. There are a lot of different information available. Now let's look at the other method, which is voltmeter. It is of great importance that the voltage supplied to the panel must be measured at each point in time. This is usually done in order to protect the panel in mind. Machine vendors design panels in such a way that there will be some form of protection available. Which means, when the voltage is higher than the required values. The panel's tripped, and as such the panel is protected from high voltage. The wire are connected in parallel across the load, and the neutral point of the panel. Also, apart from the panel protections that it offers, the voltage supplied can also be monitored from the meter. In summary, 
Current transformer and voltage transformers are used to monitor and protect the panel from bad supply. This feature ensures that the panel remain protected in regardless of the power situations. Now let do a quick recap. We started off with current transformer, also known as CT. We branch off by looking at the similarities between the ammeter and current transformers. We end off with voltage transformers. We look at how voltage are measured using VT. See you in the next units.